Gentlemen, let me clarify this image. This is part of the rig mast structure. What you are seeing is a diagonal mast brace connected to a main vertical mast leg, a critical load-bearing area that transfers hook load, wind load, and dynamic drilling loads. Now, look at the green marked areas. At the upper right, there is a crack and partial separation at the welded joint of the diagonal brace. On a rig mast, this is a high-stress fatigue zone, especially during tripping operations, high hook loads, wind-induced vibration, rig moves, and repeated mast raising slash lowering. The visible corrosion along the crack indicates this defect did not occur suddenly. It has propagated over time. At the lower marked area, we see a welded reinforcement plate on the mast leg. This strongly suggests a previous structural repair or modification. However, the weld quality and ongoing corrosion raise serious concerns about load redistribution, stress concentration around the repair, remaining fatigue life of the mast member. From an HSE and structural integrity perspective, the key message is this. Any cracking or unverified repair on a rig mast is a red flag condition. This requires immediate engineering assessment, NDT inspection, MT slash UT, load restriction or shutdown until integrity is confirmed. Bottom line, this mast section shows fatigue damage, corrosion, and evidence of prior repair in a critical structural zone, representing a potential drop structure and catastrophic failure risk if left unaddressed. This is real-life rig safety, not Halloween decoration. Left unchecked, defects like these can lead to mast failure, drop structure, and catastrophic consequences.